on air. Good day, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to wherever you are. Today, we will be speaking about um, fiscal sponsorships. So a quick word of house maintenance before we get actually started. Um, I'm Stefan. This is my face. I will switch quickly to a screen share. And um, I'm told. them directly into the chat so I can I can see them uh, fairly quickly otherwise we have a chance that there'll be a rather um, how could I say awkward moment uh, between the moment I finish my speech and the moment I can read your questions and access them so as soon as something crosses your mind uh, please type in the chat and now we'll get ready to start so um, you are Wikimedians, I expect, and welcome to Wikimania. I hope you're enjoying uh, the, the few talks you've had already. I'm looking forward to the next few ones. There's a very cool one after, after me, I know. Um, and I'll introduce myself. I'm the other Kiwix guy, which means I'm the guy that doesn't code at Kiwix, because Kiwix is a piece of software that allows people to access Wikipedia when there's no internet access. Also, more things than Wikipedia, but, you know, every single Wikipedia, but also Wikiquote, uh, Wikiversity, all the Wikimedia projects, actually, we, we copy them and we package them so that they can be like highly compressed and you can actually store the whole thing onto your cell phone, um, no matter what they are, be it like Wikipedia in Hindi, Wikipedia in Arabic, in French, in English, it does not matter. We are based in Switzerland, which is slightly useful for the rest of my talk. And if you have any question because I speak too fast or because I, maybe some things were not clear enough, uh, feel free to ask in the chat or send me an email to stefan at kiwix.org. Also contact at kiwix.org works or hello at kiwix.org. If you want to find me, you will find me. All right. So what are fiscal sponsorships? Um, this is what we're going to see. We see what they are, what they can do for you, um, how, what you can bring to the table to make it work, like what is it that you need or what do you need that you need to do to, to get it done and what does not work like what are the cases where you probably don't want to get into a, a, a fiscal sponsorship because they wouldn't they, they wouldn't work with the foundation so a fiscal sponsorship according to wikipedia it's the practice of a nonprofit organization such as kiwix to offer their legal their legal and tax exam status to people or to groups uh, that are running a project somewhere and that need uh, to receive a grant. Basically, what this means is that we provide admin support. So you do your project and we uh, do the registrations, we do the payments essentially. And in most places where we've been working with people needing fiscal sponsorship, it's because if you receive money from a nonprofit, then that money needs to be received from another nonprofit. So we save you the trouble of trying to register your own little, you know, uh, your own specific project, because in some countries that's, that's a bit too much effort for just like running edit patterns or things like this or photo, photo workshops. So you just give Kiwix address and everyone's happy. But concretely, how does it work really? Okay, so let's say you have a great idea. You want to run a, a series of edit patterns uh, around your country, but you need money to pay for the trips, the food, the actual rooms, maybe some internet connection, and you ask a grant to the WMF. You can actually ask a grant from anyone. It's not just WMF, but again, this is Wikimedia, so we suspect that you know, uh, you'll know you be asking uh, the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, you, you make your proposal on Meta, and it's very clear, and you have a budget, and it says, okay, I need this and that, and I will get this and that. And I have a fiscal sponsor, which is Kiwix. And then Wikimedia looks at it and they'll be like, okay, it sounds like a good project. Uh, we will fund the grant and um, we will send the money to, to Kiwix. So the money arrives in Switzerland and you, in your country, wherever you are in the world, uh, you run your project. So you run the rooms, you, you call people, you make some noise, hey, come and edit Wikipedia. And then, of course, comes the time where you need to pay those bills. So either you need to be reimbursed for your uh, travels or you need to pay for the rooms that you rented or maybe you bought a computer or maybe if it's a very large project, actually, there's staff salary that is involved. Um, as in, like, you know, every month you get a little something for, for the work you've done or big something, depends. Um, then that's when Kiwix comes to play. We pay those bills. 
or we reimburse you if it's travel. Like you send us a copy, you take a picture of your train ticket, and then we, we reimburse you for the price of a train ticket. And we send the money directly to your account, and there's no more paperwork than this to do. The only paperwork is here, and I took a very clear example. So let's say we have the North Pole Wiki user group running edit attempts in the North Pole, and Santa Claus is actually the owner of the project, but it could be Santa Claus and 10 of his team. I don't care. We would have 10 people reimbursed. It's no problem, the whole team. So Santa Claus is running as a data turn and he wanted to bring some goodies for the kids. Uh, also the food for the reindeers that he, he had to bring his material. And obviously he's, ra he's renting a factory to build all those uh, nice little presents for the kids and run the data turn. So the, the, the presents for the kids he bought in um, Angola, I think, and he paid in Kwanzaa. I'm just giving different currencies to tell you that it's no problem. Um, we've seen quite a few people living in one country, but then buying something off Amazon or Facebook, and then they pay in US dollars, even though in their own country, I mean, everyone's got their own currency. It doesn't really matter because you pay in Kwanzaa, in Aruban Florian, on Yuan Renminbi or US dollars, you just put the conversion rate. And at the end of the day, if you want to be paid in US dollars or euros or whatever, then it will be translated into the same amount. So Santa Claus made his, his thing and, or he directly sent us the bill for the rental of the room, it really depends. And then we will pay those $1,705 to his account and then Santa Claus is done. He's, he's run his project, he can do the, the metrics for the Wikimedia Foundation, but there's no other paperwork that is needed from him. Basically, the whole purpose of this paper is just to make a list of the money he will get back and his bank account number so we can send it to him. That's about it. So as I said, minimal paperwork, no registration needed with the government because Kiwix does it and we're certified and a non-profit. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation covers the cost associated with the fiscal sponsorship. So you, you just add 10% at the end of what you need and they, that's the standard thing and they, they don't care anymore. And we actually also pay for staff salaries. And as you can see, I put a little asterisk next to it because if you are as part of your project considered as an employee of the project, well, you still need to pay taxes in your country. So you need to, to take part of that, uh, of, of that part of the admin, but otherwise anything else payments is being managed by us. And that's when I remind you that if you have questions, you should put them in the chat because between the moment I'm speaking right now and the moment you will hear me, there's one or two minutes. And we're not too far from the end of the presentation already, because as you see, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, the only thing I need to discuss is the but. There's always a catch. So there's always a but. And what are the situations where uh, fiscal sponsorships won't work? Um, there's actually two, really. And I would say even just one. Um, the main reason why you shouldn't go into a fiscal sponsorship is whether you, uh, but most likely your country, is under some sort of restrictions. So luckily there aren't too many like this, uh, mostly like North Korea, Russia, Iran. Uh, when I say you, if you're listed terrorists, we probably cannot send you money, but I don't expect this to happen. You never know. I mean, lots of Wikimedians, um, but I expect not. Uh, and that's about it. I also listed, so we cannot send money uh, from wherever, and particularly not the Wikimedia Foundation. That's specifically strict actually stricter than us Kiwix being in Switzerland because they are Americans and it is what it is. And they cannot send um, even indirectly money to, to countries with whom the US government has a beef. Um, the, the only other reason where there could be an issue is if you need to plan on buying online vouchers and you need to, to use a credit card. If you don't have a credit card, we cannot use our own credit card because we found out the hard way that in many countries it doesn't work. Like, I'll give you a concrete example. Someone was based in Bangladesh and he said, okay, I'm going to, to send vouchers to local Amazon India. So there was Amazon, which is a global company. But Amazon India doesn't accept credit cards that are not from the country, from, that are not from Indian citizens. So we had to work something out with people we knew and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, it was just too much effort. So the way we'll, we'll bypass that problem is that you find someone with a, a credit card and we will pay them back. But that's the only thing, you cannot use our credit card. But otherwise, if we need to pay, I don't know, um, 
a website designer because you had a new website, you send us the bill and we pay that person directly. No problem. So just don't be um, in a country that you know manufactures bombs and send them to America. That's the bottom line. Um, we have some experience with fiscal sponsorship already. Quite a few cool, very, very cool groups, actually. Uh, people are really, really large. Um, World Heritage User Group, uh, they're based in France and Morocco. So in their case, we paid for Facebook ads for a website design, I believe, and now they have a project manager or two. Um, there may be an app that can be used for GLAMS, so keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in, in working with GLAMS, because there will be some very, very cool product coming out of them. Uh, Wikimedians of Arusha, they're running a bunch of editatons and train the trainers. Uh, so we help them through that. A much smaller project, which was the Arabic Wikidays, uh, but it worked as well. We paid for graphic design, I believe. West Bengal user group vouchers for a contest. It was Wiki Loves. Oh no, that's the Wiki Loves Women South Asia, where we paid for um, for vouchers. And West Bengal, we're paying um, computer travel, transport, editatons, and all those things. As you can see, there's a whole range of activities. Again, the bottom line is that we're there to cover you back. You do your project, and we're behind. And this is the end of my talk already. It's a lightning talk, and for a reason. Uh, again, if you want to contact me afterwards, feel free to reach out, stefan at kiwix.org, um, or find me through the website, or find me on, uh, on Meta. No problem, I'm going back to my camera. I hope you can see me, I can see some of you. Hello. And I'll try to read the questions, so I have a very small screen. Oops. Am I the only one not seeing any presentation happening? No, it wasn't. Okay, well, it is now on. And there's an etherpad, I forgot to mention that one. And I, oh, Alex, hello, Alex. Long time no see. And yes, um, as Mike Peel says, there are other fiscal sponsors available. Kiwix is just one of them. Speak with the Wikimedia Foundation. They know all of us. Um, they probably will know which one is better for your region or country. Because, I mean, I'm based in Switzerland, so I kind of think I'm the center of the world, uh, at least time zone-wise. I can reach out to more or less everywhere. But uh, there are groups that are based in Asia. There are groups that are based in South America. Try to speak with um, Janice at the Wikimedia Foundation. She would be the one to know. All the team is super helpful. They are great people. So really, um, feel free to, to ping them, ask questions. Do not be shy. The Wikimedia uh, Foundation grant process is actually very well run. Um, and I say this from experience and comparison with others. So ask questions to me if you want something informal or directly to them. It will be OK. I see another thank you. Uh, well, I thank you. Um, and I will wait another few seconds to see if there are more questions. I actually have two minutes. So there will be two minutes of more questions. Or I would just spend the time awkwardly dancing. And I cannot play elevator music, sadly. Um, but I had a very good compilation. And uh, we'll see. And I'm done. No dancing. I would actually appreciate if commenters would comment on my dancing abilities, you know. It's kind of nice. I'm putting an effort here, people. All right, there's 50 seconds left. No other questions. I'll take it as a wrap. So thank you very much again.
and I shall be waiting for your emails or your grant proposals. Uh, we speak a lot with the foundation, so there, there's always a big discussion. Um, thank you very much. I cannot read your name, Ezekiel. <laughs> thank you for, okay, yeah. Well, next Wikimania, there will be, you know, live sessions and we'll be dancing. You'll be my first dance, Ezekiel, uh, mark my words. All right, everyone. Um, I don't know how to disconnect, so I'll just press on disconnect and I'll wish you a great day and a great rest of Wikimania. Bye.